Hello everyone, what's up? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Reveal. So guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can access your Raspberry Pi terminal only using your web browser. You just need to know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. That's it. Using your Raspberry Pi IP address and a web browser, you can easily access your Raspberry Pi terminal and can run or execute any type of command you want on your Raspberry Pi. So in this video, I'm going to show you the step by step guide how you can set up your Raspberry Pi like this so that you can get access to your Raspberry Pi terminal from the web browser. Okay guys, now you can see my Raspberry Pi screen. So to access your Raspberry Pi terminal from a web browser using the web UI, you have to install a package on your Raspberry Pi and the package name is cell in a box. To install this package on your Raspberry Pi, you just need to type one single command and that's it. So open up your Raspberry Pi terminal and here you need to type sudo app install shell in a box. Then press enter and this command is going to install the shell in a box package on your Raspberry Pi. It's going to take some time so you have to wait until the installation has been completed. Okay, now you can see you have successfully installed the shell in a box. Now what you need to do, you have to identify your Raspberry Pi IP address. To know your Raspberry Pi IP address, you can type on your terminal if config. Then press enter and here you will get your Raspberry Pi IP address. Here you can see in my case, this is 192.168.0.150. Now let me show you how to access your Raspberry Pi terminal, this terminal from a web browser using a web UI. So let me switch to my another computer. Here you can see now I am in my Windows computer. Now what you need to do, you need to open up your browser. Then on your browser, you need to type HTTPS double slash, then the Raspberry Pi IP address in my case 192.168.0.150. Then you need to specify a port address which is 4200. Then press enter. And you will get a, this connection error. So if you get this page, click on advance, then click on proceed to 192.168.0.150 and save. Click here and you will get this Raspberry Pi login. So now here you need to type your Raspberry Pi login credentials. So the Raspberry Pi login is Pi. Then you need to type the password. Then press enter. And here you can see I am logged in to my Raspberry Pi. Like this you can easily access any Raspberry Pi terminal using cell in a box package. Now you can execute any command into your Raspberry Pi using this web UI shell in a box. Here you can see I can update my Raspberry Pi and can do everything what I can do with a Raspberry Pi terminal using this web based UI terminal. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you are watching this tech tutorial and I'm signing out.